Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be looking at this. This is the Aimpoint Acro P2. Aimpoint is one of the oldest optics manufacturers still in business. Uh, and over the years, their name has become synonymous with durability, quality, and expense. So in 2024, is the Aimpoint Acro P2 still kind of the Mac daddy of these enclosed emitter style optics? Or has somebody come to steal the crown? We'll talk about it. So the Acro P1 dropped in 2020, uh, and that optic was actually plagued with some issues, notably uh, the battery life. So people were getting like three to four weeks of battery life, and these days that's just completely unacceptable. I'd say the minimum amount of battery life most guys are looking for is 10,000 hours, so three weeks is not even close. Uh, they went back, did some R&D, took that feedback, and turned it into the P2. They made some other UI changes, but the biggest one was the battery life. And again, we're looking at 50,000 hours claimed battery now. I haven't had a chance to test that just yet, but uh, we'll get there. The other thing that the uh, Aimpoint Acro has is its enclosed emitter design. So this is something that again became popular in the last three or four years. Uh, the idea is that with an enclosed emitter, you reduce the risk of there being any lint, dirt, debris inside of the optic body that could preclude the actual dot from emitting onto that front window. Uh, and so you thereby increase the reliability of the optic. Uh, so 10 brightness settings, uh, four are supposed to be compatible with night vision. In my experience, only the bottom two really are. Uh, the third one is maybe suitable for some mixed lighting environments. The fourth one, in my opinion, is just too bright. 10 brightness settings is good because they're all bright enough for daytime use for the most part. The problem that I have is that I wish there was a little more fine tunability. I often find that uh, in certain environments, especially with mixed lighting, one brightness setting is a little too dim, the next one is a little too bright. But the biggest thing to talk about with the Aimpoint Acro is the price tag. At $550, $600, uh, is it still the option that you should be going with? Overall, I feel like the Aimpoint Acro represents good value for a duty optic. Uh, if you can get it on some kind of deal, maybe an LEO deal, maybe a, uh, a military discount, or in this case, this came mounted on this Glock 45 MOS 7. So I ended up getting a pretty big discount uh, because it came packaged as a deal. But to buy the optic as a standalone at this point, I feel like you might be better served by an alternative. Gentlemen, thank you for tuning into this micro review. If you like that one, I bet you'll like this one. And if you like them both, maybe hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can get notified the next time I put one out. Till next time.